it's the 21st of December. We're in Bandon, West Cork, and uh, we called down just to see Mark Troy and uh, speak to one of his uh, workers, Gerald. We were planning for our grassroots feature uh, to come down and video Mark uh, at the, the back end of the season during the maize harvest. And when I made the phone call to uh, make arrangements, Mark was in bad form. There had been a little bit of an accident and uh, one of his workers had got caught in the machine. And we decided that we would leave it to next year, which we will come back down with Mark because uh, he's a very professional operator and we want to keep following up with him as part of our grassroots feature. Long story short, what you see behind me is the Jeep belongs to Dr. Jason from West Cork Rapid Response. And uh, he came to the scene that day and without him being there, there could have been a different outcome. The local rural community here has got together and we're organizing some lighthearted fun entertainment. There's a battle of the contractors competition on the 21st of January, where all the local contractors are coming together to race go-karts. And we're going to film this, because it's going to be a wee bit different and something a little bit lighthearted. And Dr. Jason's also going to do a few live demonstrations of different scenarios. Accidents can happen, and anything that we can do to help create awareness and just double check things. And I mean, anyone who knows Mark Troy's business will know that he is the ultimate professional contractor. And that just reiterates the fact that accidents can happen anywhere. You really don't want to be here, girl, do you? No, not a cameraman. Hey? Eh? Not a camera guy, no. So no. why are we here? <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> because uh, I got my hand caught in the machine. And without your help, I, things could have been yeah. quite different. Could have been. No, I mean, yeah. in fairness, um, if in fairness, Groyd had a little bit of an incident on the farm and something which is not terribly uncommon and uh, many of you who are watching this would have probably seen or been or even heard about a similar incident uh, and that's getting a part of your body stuck into a machine. Never good, is it? No. Um, I suppose um, what we wanted to get across was two things really. Number one is how uh, to get yourself out if you've ended up in the misfortune of actually being caught in a machine. I suppose the other thing is something which you're doing which is really nice for us. Yeah, we just as a, as a thank you gesture and uh, having realised uh, how vital the service is, we're organising a fundraising night on the 21st of January in Watergrass Hill. And as Gareth mentioned, it's a, a go-karting night for all the contractors. So. Should be a bit of fun, hopefully. We're going to be racing the doctors hopefully against contractors. On. We'll try something anyway. Yeah, we'll, you're going to keep up. We'll put everyone in. Yeah, sure. We'll see how it turns out now. Yeah. We'll put everyone in, yeah. We'll okay. give everyone a go, hopefully. We're doing this awareness event for, the, for Jason, and you know he has costs associated with running the service. And we're hoping to all mitigate some of them costs and by donating to the charity. Well, know, that's, I mean, that's, that's very it. kind of you. I, mean, yeah. I suppose a little bit of what, what we do, um, West Cork Rap Response, is uh, set up in West Cork, as, as is the name, as is organizations such as East Cork Rapid Response, Wicklow Rapid Response, uh, there's Mayo Rapid Response as well. And what we do is we're organizations based in the community which provide a level of care and support to the existing emergency services. So I'm a pre-hospital doctor. Uh, my specialty is emergency medicine and I bring exactly what you'll find in the emergency department, in the recess room, to the side of the road, to the farm, wherever, and provide critical care level of support in assistance to the, Lam the National Ambulance Service, with assistance to the fire brigade, with assistance to the Irish Coast Guard, to basically get you out or to provide yeah. that care um, on, on, on that side of the farm, on the side of the road. And essentially, without going into details, because I know it's extremely difficult for you to even try and think yeah. about this, um, uh, we arrive, we give good quality analgesia over and above what the advanced paramedics can, can deliver. And I suppose it's that message I'm trying to get across really today. It's actually really, really simple. You get yourself stuck in a machine. Well, please don't, first of all. But if you do, dart it. Just think darts, right? Dart. Really, really simple. D, disengage. Um, and as you had, yeah. you know, the engines were switched off. Yeah. You know, but the next part of disengage is actually you need to disengage that drive shaft yes. or that burr or whatever is actually entrapping you or that conveyor belt. Disengage it from its mechanism 
from its motorism. And it's something that's not really that intuitive. Get in there, work out where, how the thing is turning, and disengage it. All right? It's not just to stop it moving forward, it's to do the next part of it. Um, well, A actually stands for analgesia, and fortunately now um, we're equipping our National Ambulance Service Advanced Paramedics with some of the gold standard analgesia. In fact, there's nothing that I gave you that in the next few months the, the advanced paramedics couldn't give you um, at, at the side of the farm. So you need to take away that stimulus, that, that, that hurt. Um, it's vitally important. And then R, so D, A, disengage, A, analgesia, R, stands for reverse. So once you disengage that mechanism, reverse that mechanism. Don't try and cut away the machine. Don't try and cut away this or get at this. Don't try and pull this thing apart or anything like that. Just reverse what your mechanism is. Everything on a tractor virtually is reversible. Everything on the back of a harvester is reversible. Reverse, out it comes. But then T, the last part, the most important part, is if you do reverse, you're going to bleed to death if you don't put a tourniquet on. Um, and so that last one is T. So dart, disengage, analgesia, reverse, and put a tourniquet on. And then you've got your out, basically. Yeah. This is a uh, Ford uh, Ranger Wild Track, uh, 3.2 litre turbo diesel, um, with a few little tweaks, um, but I can't say too much, otherwise the insurance company will get at you. Um, <coughs> but um, nevertheless, completely fundraised for by the local community here in West Cork. Um, all of it, what we do is completely voluntary. Uh, I have a day job. I'm, I'm up in CUH at the Regional Trauma Centre there. Um, I, I work in the emergency department. But um, this really is... So, all. doctor by day, hero by night. At the end of the day, I've got a family of five. You know, I live in this community, I work in this community, I'm part of this community, and I've got certain skills which, um, you know, I, I can give back to this community. It's the same as, um, you know, somebody's there to teach my child, somebody's there to look after, you know, I don't know, anything. I stand by yeah. what I just said, hero. Yeah. So, um, I stand, <laughs> you're not going to change. <laughs> So, so, I mean, look, this is it. it, it it's it's the, the spirit of West Cork. It's, it, 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 it is exactly that. It's all completely fundraised for by the community. Um, you know... Uh, what all's in here? And all. Well, there's, a, there's, there's, there's almost 200,000 euros worth of uh, life-saving equipment. Um, when we say we bring the emergency department to the farm, we actually mean we bring the emergency department to the farm. Um, there is nothing in recess at CUH that isn't in this Jeep bar one thing. Can you guess what that is? Uh, a hospital bed. No, there's no hospital beds in CUH <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be worse in two days. Yeah. <laughs> no, what's that? Only thing I don't have here is X-ray. When you say voluntary, that's that is you know exactly is exactly what you say. That you are relying on these fundraisers and, and, and events like that to to take you forward. Absolutely. And in fairness, now in fairness, now the West Coast community are phenomenal. You know, I've, I've never, ever had to ask. Um, we've never really been wanting for, for anything. And the beauty of this actually, and you know, the beauty of having this as a voluntary service is that we can bring online extremely quickly the latest medical advances. Like that, we can bring them online. We have the best equipment. We can bring the best to the farm, to where the injury is taking place. And, ultim you know, and that's and the most important thing. And ultimately, save lives absolutely that's that's that's, that's the whole, why you're that's there the whole goal. talk okay. us through this bad boy yeah so look we weren't joking when we said um we bring everything um on this side we have um lucas device which is a mechanical cpr so um i don't have to go and do nearly the elephant in your chest i've got the machine to do it for me um whole range of sort of um boxes here um tough as tough as nails obviously because this is west cork and uh, we're out on the farm all the time um, things like my maternity kit, we deliver, um, on average, we can deliver one or two babies a month. Um, just a minor injuries kit to sew you up and get you back uh, mowing lawns and things if, if that's what you want to do quickly so we don't have to get you uh, waiting at CUH. Um, various things for intensive care and some spares. By the way, all of this was built by the good people of West Cork. Um, none of this, all of this was built custom for us. So you've sort of designed this to suit This is completely you. designed by For local people needs, around yeah. here in West Cork. You know, so all the gear just pulls out. Uh, this would be like our main gear. Step up there, Nicholas. <coughs> One of my five kids. Hello, son. You um, must be so proud. The, um, this will be my main bag. Um, 
I mean, generally speaking, you don't really want me to be taking my bag out. If it's, a, it's a bad day, I have to open my bag. Um, but um, we have everything there we, we need to keep you asleep. Um, you know, this would be all my airway kit. So lots of uh, tubes, various bits and bobs to put you asleep, keep you asleep, and uh, keep you safe. Um, as you can see, it's all vacuum sealed and vacuum packed just to keep all the dirt off it. Um, this kit is designed to be rugged and, and used out in the farm, you know. Um, it looks like it's heavy. Well, it depends. Um, you know. How fit you are. It depends how fit you are, exactly. <laughs> and that comes back to what you were saying about, um, you know, anyway. So, yeah, bits and pieces just to kind of keep you going. As I said, it's all very ruggedized equipment. Um, this will be my uh, medication bag. Um, that'll be my pen. I'm a licensed yeah. drug dealer. It's very important. Um, burns, unfortunately. We can make money uh, here. Yeah. Look, burns are a, a big deal. On, yeah. These are all sort of burns dressings. Now, unfortunately, we do get a lot of burns in uh, industrial accidents and on farms and things like that. So I've got everything we need there. Everything from like acid, fires, heat, you know, all types you, of... You name yeah. it. It's, it's, it's there. It, it happens. Um, that's an intensive care ventilator. Um, that's the breathing machine that you see in intensive care. Basically, we bring it down to the farm. It's all very ruggedized. That can be dropped out of the back of a tractor, not a bother. It'll still keep working, you know, fully waterproof and things. All of this is, very, is, is specialist watertight equipment. That's a, um, a monitor which uh, tells me all about your vital signs once you're hooked up to it. Um, it also defibrillates you as well. That's a full intensive care monitor. Just a little bit like in the side of the hospital room where you see the wee, you know, your, your blood pressures and all your vital signs the whole time. That's just that only in a mobile version or no, it's more important. Well, that's kind of a little bit more because um, most of those monitors wouldn't have the integrated defibrillator and wouldn't be able to do invasive pressures and things like that. That's a full intensive care. We bring intensive care to the roadside basically <laughs> and then do an intensive care transfer. Um, you know, as I said, we work in, uh, you know, I don't have a, a nice pair of uh, Gucci shoes. I have a proper pair of boots that, uh, you know, stick out with the farm. Wow. I'm, I'm not a, um, I'm, I'm not one to take uh, back to, you know, the cocktail party. In fact, actually, funnily enough, when I was out with Geroid there, I was actually on my way to a, a party. I, I, I kid you not, it was, to, it was to the Dutch ambassadors do on a, on a little Dutch frigate, you know, one of the naval warships when uh, they decide. So I actually, thanks for that. I missed my Heineken and my uh, tempura prawns, but you know, it doesn't matter. I'd rather be there for you, Geroid in fairness. Um, that's all rescue gear here. What were you playing at, man? You know, jump out there for a second, sir. <laughs> jump out of the way there, Nick. The man missed a party. I missed a party for you, Geroid, but anyway, any time. <laughs> Yeah. There's some stuff in there, boys. So, you, you know, um, rescue gear, things to cut away. That's to um, break into your tractor if you ever leave the keys out. Um, so that's cutting gear. That's if we can't do the reverse process he was talking about. <laughs> well, no, funnily enough, I mean, you, 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 you joke about that, but actually amputation is unfortunately one of the things that has to go through your mind. Uh, I obviously didn't want to amputate his arm, but, um, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're trapped in a machine, it's it's the last there, resort. There, there will come a point where you would have to possibly make a decision. This has to go. No, to I, save life, I mean, you would I mean absolutely. But I, you know, over the years, I've I've come up with this dart mechanism, this dart maneuver. You know, and if you really stick to your guns, um, touch wood, I haven't had to amputate for a number of years, and that's out of anything. And uh, that, I mean, traditionally, the doctor would get called out of the hospital to amputate, and I just look. End of the day, it's it's. It's not what you want, you know. Um, the only time that you would really consider amputation is if, you were on, if the car was on fire or something like that and you had, actually had, to, get, and you had to go fast, but not anymore. No, um, That's really just to create space. So, you know, climbing gear and stuff like that, good quality lighting, throw bags for water safety, um, that sort of thing. Um, and then on the other side is... Uh, so on the other side is bits and pieces to do with rescue. Um, that's uh, made by my good friend, uh, Des McWilliams. McWilliams Sales. Oh, Come on, ladies. Okay. Ladies, you'll know about these bags. This is the biggest McWilliams sale bag you'll ever see. Uh, especially made for us, thanks to Des and his lovely wife, Sue. Um, 
So this would be like our specialist uh, vacuum mattresses and things like that to kind of vacuum you into uh, a nice stable position and we can just lift you from there, um, put you on. We have a special stretcher here, which is the, uh, you know, ruggedized, made for tactical environments, also made for uh, dirty old farms, slurry pits, that sort of thing. Daddy. Trying to get you out. This is, uh, as I said, everything in this Jeep, n none of this is, this is, is your standard. standard standard sort of nice sort of stuff. This is all, you know, designed to be used in an agricultural environment. Oh, sure Give us a good pull. So, proper stretcher to get you out of tight and confined spaces, also from rafters or from, from rescued height, that sort of thing, um, you know. And, uh, my lunch? <laughs> You've got eight. Got to eat. We, hopefully, at Grassman and through everyone else, yeah. will be working with you a good bit more in the future. Now, one thing, how do I switch on the blue lights? Oh yeah, look, um, just be careful now. I mean, you're not, just- Do you need a special license? There's a button license? in there, you know, jump, jump on, jump on, jump and bolt. There we go. You sure? Yeah, yeah, cr crack on and um, just up, up there. Now, I know, I know you really want to do this. You want to sound the siren, don't you? Oh, where is it? Right, just double press that. <laughs> and again, and again, <laughs> and again. What do you want for tea? <laughs> What, what do you want for tea, folks? <laughs> Tell me the truth. When you're yeah. hungry and you're going to Domino's, you do that. Well, <laughs> and the fast food establishments do exist. Hey, that's true, but we're not the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So there we go.